Tell them about your character. Uh, well, my character, she's very independent. You know, she's she's kind of dabbles in the bad girl side of things. You know, really trying to find herself. And you know, when when her brother does pass away, it kind of uh, all of her little emotions kind of come to the surface that she's always been hiding. And you definitely kind of see a lot of colors to her. But I think the simplest way to to kind of label her, she's a bad girl who likes to keep her secrets a secret. And she's got a bad boy boyfriend. Oh my gosh! Yes. Mr. Kendrick. Said, that seems rough. Dean Iverson, yes. Yeah. See, <laughs> not only is he a bad boy, but he's also a secret about boyfriend. You're not supposed to know about him, and um, he definitely plays a huge part in the story. Kind of, kind of puts her in a bad place, especially already being in a bad place with her brother's murder. Was that challenging for you as an actress to kind of go to that place of having, you know, a sibling I know, I being gone? I have a lot of siblings, so you know, kind of imagining them in that position, it was very easy to get there emotionally. What was hard for me sometimes was kind of masking that occasionally because Chloe isn't someone to be like, pity me, pity me. She's very kind of like, I can handle myself, you don't need to tell me what to do. I'm not sad, but she's, she is. And it, it, was, it was hard to find that you know, fine line of being a bad girl, but also kind of being vulnerable. And being sympathetic yes, to the people. and sympathetic, exactly. Especially to, to parents who are grieving every single day. And what do you think people are going to be excited about for this season, regardless of whether or not they've watched Broadchurch? Oh, the suspense. Who did it? Who killed this little boy? It's, it's so, you know, it's so much drama, so much fingers being pointed. It's like, it's nonstop. And you really can't pinpoint anyone because everyone is a suspect.